Ready, our favorite here, and it's time for Floss Two. Do no 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 no. First off, check it out. This is my froggy quilt. I started my froggy quilt as a round robin back in 1998, I think it was. It was a long time ago, and I completed the two frogs sitting on the lily pad with the four frogs here in the corners. I can never get this whole backwards mess. <laughs> it's like what? Anyway, um, then that block was sent with some fabric to the next person in line who did the um, applique. The next person did flowers down at the bottom with Bargello and uh, the blue and white checked. The next person did a three-dimensional turtle in all the corners with this big wide open expanse for quilting. And then the last person put this huge tree with all the stars in the sky and cattails on the bottom and on the sides. And it's just amazing because the quilter who did this for me is a friend of mine and she did embroidery and all this crazy great stuff. You've got to see this. I believe I posted a big, huge post to my Facebook page, which is Wendy McDonald 3, if you want to go check it out. But I won't throw it on here. Okay, so embroidery.com had the I Love to Stitch challenge that I absolutely head over heels enjoy. They do... I love to stitch. Last year they also did, and that's in the beginning of the year. Then they did in October, which is stitchy. And all it is, is you work on whatever you're going to work on. And every day you post to the site on Facebook. And so every day you're showing more and more progress. At the end of, um, what was it? A week or so. Was it a week? No, I think the first one was two weeks. I can't remember, but the first one was amazing because they sent us all frames, which is like so expensive. How did they do this? I have no idea. They didn't ask for any money for shipping or anything, and they just sent us all a frame, which <laughs> blows my mind because you all know that I have to put everything on frames because of my SLE. Oh, might as well show you this while I have it out. This is the black work. Wow. It's really dark in here. It's just um, back stitching. I think I'm using a single strand of our silk or something. I don't know what I'm using. <laughs> I'm bad, aren't I? Um, here's my SLE needle minder. That's kind of cute. It's a purple butterfly with a purple heart and leave on it. Um, yeah, so I designed the border because I wanted something else on the outside of this and this is like the most amazing bit of um, fabric and I don't know what I'm doing with this because it gets really 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 dark right here and so the black's not going to show up so I might want to go with a pale gray there I don't know what I'm doing if you've got any suggestions please write me and tell me what to do there um, this whole thing is just gorgeous fabric um, yeah, that's DMC floss, but it's, um, it's changing and I really did want to work black. I thought black would work fine on this. Oh, wow. It's so dark in here. So it goes from green to purple into these pinky orangey colors. There, that's pretty good. Um, which obviously... The black will work great on, um, but that purple, hmm, and that area of this super dark green, hmm. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. So anyway, I love to stitch. It, it went on all February. Dark Pepsi. <laughs> and during February, I went crazy. I don't even know if I've introduced you to, to that. That is the peppermint purple. Sal a year of black work and she's doing 52 weeks every week. She puts out a new file So I let it get you know backed up and then I catch up really fast um, The other one that I started I'm pretty sure this is new too is Hogwarts a letter letters from Hogwarts stitch your own adventure so it's like those um, create your own adventure books that were popular way back when and you decide like which house you're going to go into and because of the different house you went into you use this thing and that thing and you get like a different chart for each 
one of the iterations. So there's like four different designs probably because there's four houses. So here's mine. I went with um, a crackle in gray. I just love the little owls. I think I might outline him though because he doesn't show up as much as I like. And there's Hogwarts and the train that takes you to Hogwarts. And over here is another owl with my very cool needle miter, which is handmade out of a picture because we can do that. And this one is the main characters. So then there's this little scroll work. And then in the middle, that's where I'm at, right here, there's a wand. And you decide the wand um, by like your character, I think it was, um, like things you like and stuff. But I just chose the one that was the coolest, which has like vines all over it. I thought that was really, really nice. Yeah, here's my vines. I hope you can see them. They're all along the wood of the the wand. And I thought I was cute and I was going to put blue over here. I don't know what I was thinking when I did it, but I kind of macked it anyway. Doesn't matter. I'm very easy. Very easy going. So then there's the linens and threads. This is the fabric that we made up for it. And pretty sure, yeah, these are silks. They're my silks. <laughs> it's terrible. I have to keep reminding myself what everything is. I really loved this thing. That was so much fun. I liked, I kept, I wanted to keep it in like a Quaker feel, but then I went and I saw this and I was just like, oh, it's got to be Finnish, you know, from Finland. <laughs> Only because I don't know what I'm talking about that I think you guys don't know what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Or that you're not going to understand me or whatever. So it turns out I got the new pattern and they're going down. So it's like the whole side of the canvas which is interesting because my um I like to go across the top because I'm in frames all the time on this one I've got our game of thrones and of course my cat's favorite she's forever taking this thing off of the place where I keep the needle minders that's Jensen Ackles for anybody who doesn't know from Supernatural yes we like Jensen Ackles all right, I've even made um, patterns, knitwear patterns, because I'm a knitwear designer, that's what I do, um, for him and for the boys, yeah. And they're over there on the wall, like this big, and cut out, so my daughter brought them back from Comic-Con one year. Okay, so, do, 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 do. that's everybody up here. Lakeside Needlecraft came out with another Carolyn Manning, and I had to do it because I love Carolyn Manning. Where's the Carolyn Manning? Uh-oh, I hope she didn't fall down the backside. I didn't see her up here. Yeah, where did she go? Oh, no, Holy cow, you guys, I have way too much stuff going on. You know what? I wonder if I took her off. I did. I took her off because I need it the frame. Okay. Sorry for that. I wish I had a pause button. I don't know how to pause this thing. I'm not very techie. Never have been, never will be. Okay, so this is called floral octagons and that's just what it is. You start with octagons. So I went with yellow and purple because I figured that would be cool and it's like the um Floral diamonds from last year. So I'm actually, some of these are a little bit large. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a quilt out of them. Why not? Nothing says you have to put your needlework on pillows or on the wall or you're not limited. You're only limited by your imagination, right? So before I go any further with Carolyn Manning, because <laughs> Carolyn Manning, um, we went a little nuts and we're having a knit along for Outlander and I started making Scots bonnets. So these are the things that you see on Outlander where they wear them like, kind of like this, but I wove the fabric. How cool is that? I had so much fun making these. Let's see, here's a normal one. 
and they're basically just tams and woven fabric. <laughs> this is my daughter's crazy color. This is a scarf for her birthday. She gave me the idea to give it to her for her birthday. So it's pretty long. It hangs down. I'm short, keep in mind. Hangs down to just above my knees. And then I just started on this, so it's not finished. But here's the cap. Ain't it cute? Now y'all got to know my daughter. She's like, she is not Miss Pris. She's not real fancy, but she's a very beautiful girl and she knows how to wear clothes and she has her sense of style. She doesn't go by what everybody else says. So the girl will be able to rock this stuff. I'm sure that's not the popular verbiage for that anymore, but along with Outlander, normally we have like um, knitting stuff like stitch markers, scissor bobs, uh, we go off into jewelry, but we don't normally go off into zipper pouches, which I did. And they're totally Outlander because they've got like the Outlander fabric and they've got the clan crest up here. And I put a thistle and a tassel on it because I could and because I had all this yarn sitting out there. Oh, here's more of the Dunn bonnets. And here is our clan tartan in a scarf. You're not allowed to completely replicate a tartan because they are copyrighted, but I used my little artistic eye and this is what I come up with. Here's a little money pouch for a sporin belt or whatever. Yeah, so these were um, a lot of fun to make, um, but they got me going in another direction. I made project bags, which is this is the Outlander fabric that will release the stuff that I picked for the Outlander because it's got um, the deers on it and the deers are like the stag is all over it. It's got a little tab, it's got a little lobster claw and it zips. This one holds four skeins of yarn, no, three skeins of yarn. This little guy can hold your uh, skein in progress or it can hold all your junk to go inside of the other project bag. This one made me start thinking. Okay, so I was thinking initially for like a large iPad um, or um, a small notebook, but I got to thinking if I made it even larger with like a clear see-through thing, we could keep our patterns inside of it because it's really close right now. Actually, it's probably the perfect size for patterns. I think I would want a little bit more space. Um, and I can put the vinyl in the front. Um, anyway, they're all zippered and they're all really cool. And I put our tag on them, on some of them. Oh, no, it's right here. Look, we have tags. Come here, come here, come here. Probably should have done this on a smaller one. We have tags. Mm. Isn't that cool? They're free in the pixies. Anyway. So that's my foray into sewing as well as all the quilting I've been doing. I've been doing so much quilting. I've been doing a lot of swaps. Block of the month. I'm in two. And then I have two mystery. I'm not going to, I'm like way overextended. I'm pulling back on all the swaps and all the mysteries because it's just way too much. So let me finish. Um, okay. So I had, <laughs> it's terrible. I had Hogwarts up and I was posting every day and I was doing really great. Obviously I got a lot done. I just started that, keep in mind. Um, and then I was like going crazy for the floral octagon. I wanted to get that one done um, because I knew if I could keep up with it that I would have a better chance. And that's what this thing is all about. For me doing the challenge now, because they're not giving out any great prizes. They're giving out a little, little, <laughs> a little needle minder that said, Let's see, for a witchy stitchy, it was a witch, really cute orange and purple, and it's just a little plastic stamp. Um, 
So I believe that's what they're doing now. I'm not in it for the prizes. I'm in it for getting stuff done. It's awesome. Last time for Witchy Stitchy, I finished three projects. So, and they were like my first, you know, number two, three, and four. So that is like a really big deal since then I haven't finished anything. Of course, I did have to start a bunch of stuff to have things to finish. So hopefully they're going to do another one in the summer. We're hoping because we were like, please, please, please. And then another one in the fall. That would be awesome. If we could get them up to once a quarter, that'd be even better. So I'm sitting there with the Harry Potter and I'm like, floral octagons, like, go crazy. You saw how little I got done. I put it on, got it done. And that was it because all of a sudden, Carolyn Manning just came to the forefront and I started Bees Knees. Now, mind you, this is like a really cool fabric. I could never dye it again because um, it's like a mistake. One of those lovely mistakes that you could never do again. You know why my camera's so dark? Because I have it down low. You guys are probably seeing just fine. So it's got bees in it and it's this homage to bees. And I really, really wanted to do it because I've always felt bad about the bees disappearing and I don't know if they still are or what the deal is. But anyway, I changed a lot of the colors. This was supposed to be dark blue and orange and I wanted to keep it like, hmm, tone on tone, I guess you could say. It's not, but I wanted to tone down my colors because Y'all know me by now. All my colors are super vibrant, super rich. But for this, I wanted I wanted to go with pastels. So taking this trek into the light side, I just stayed with DMC. And I really love it. I love these little flowers and stuff. Usually I don't do well without having a sow behind me, but it's working. I ain't looking a gift horse in the mouth. So that's Bee's Knees. Nevermore I put away and never came back out. Nevermore. <laughs> it's going to be a bad thing. I hope not anyway. So a uh, fairy bouquet I did pull back out and I have not even started the year of bouquet. So I don't know if I'm going to start that. I did see it put up on point and that looked really amazing. And then I got to thinking, what if you made the whole thing on point and you did, you know, like all of them on point in a grid on point. <sighs> I'd probably have to use the whole thing as like the centerpiece of a quilt. <laughs> if I was to do that, it would be humongous because as it is, I think that one's 24 inches. I'm not really certain. Anyway, so I did, I do have, <laughs> I didn't do it. I did nothing. I put it in the frame. Is that something? Um, so here's the first two months of um, Berry Bouquet, and I love it. They're so nice and delicate and so beautiful. The next one is the flower has two kinds of blues, so I'm using the blues, which is our silk. It's got um, the light and the turquoise and the deep turquoise and the royal blue and a purple. And then the purples has like three different colors of purple in it. And I wanted to use this green and a paler green. These are all our silks. And on this one, I've got the Doctor Who TARDIS and a Weeping Angel, because they're so freaky crazy. And things are scary, man. Okay, that brings us up to date. So, you guys gotta get in on the um, uh, Facebook, Yarn Fairy and the Pixies Fairy Floss is the name of the group because I kind of like use it as a sounding board and sort of throw my ideas out there. <laughs> okay, here's, here's what happened. So just in the last week or so, I am now kidding. The Duchess of Rune, Rune, something like that. Um, Mirabilia has like four of these in different colors. I think I might be doing the blue one. I'm really not sure. I might be just making beads. I don't honestly know. But I found these from my uh, supplier. I was out buying Ada and linen and just kind of stocking back up because we had used it all up. Um, <laughs> and I found these two fairies and I love fairy, yarn fairy, hello. You know, they call me Queen Titania. So here's Queen Titania, which I really want to do on sky blue. 
And this other one, I have forgotten, Woodland Fairy or something like that. I want to do her wings in blue, and they're gray right now, and I want to do it on, um, I think one of the gals said green, but I really want to do it on blue, or maybe not because if I change the, I don't know. This is where I'm headed, okay? Now, that said, this is where I'm at. Strawberry Fair. I love this thing. And you're like, what the heck is that, right? It's got all these little dingly balls. This heart opens and inside is all your junk that you use to sew with, you know? It's got a place for everything. And so what I did was I went out and I bought antique brass looking wood things to put inside of this. So we have kits and then we have kids and it's like, ah, I love this thing. I had so much fun buying everything for it. We had almost all the beads. I had to buy these lovely green ones. And then I, none of this stuff is available anymore because it's been like forever. So these are Swab Crystal Hearts. Here's another one because I couldn't decide on light or dark. Um, and then there's these cute strawberries that I found. They're um, metal, but they're coated in enamel. Tiny and larger. These are probably going to be, I don't know, because what I did was when I was making up the kits, I pulled, where are all my beads? I pulled out, um, come on, brain. I pulled out two things. So I have the strawberries to replace the croissant beads. I can't even get those things um, sent to me because I'm in um, California and evidently they've got lead in them. Really bad stuff. Anyway, what I did was I pulled a bunch of junk because I have so much stuff and I'm not gonna charge for them. So I've got little bunnies and a little cupcake and a tassel and some buttons, and some other pearl, and some little rosettes. Those are going out with my kits. And these, I was thinking could replace the croissant. Am I even saying that right? Whatever. Um, these are lamp work uh, with little, the green, with little flecks of metal, and then I've put a cap in there for each one of them and some other weird dooley dads that the kit said that you needed. So those are those. And then I made, I don't know where everything is anymore. You should see my mess. If you could see my mess, you would know why I can't find a thing. Anyway, I made all the bead kits up. Um, there's like umpty hundred different kinds of beads and, oh, here they are. So I also had red felt um, and some interfacing there's so much stuff required in this kit. The fabric, it's like 20 by 55, a piece of pink linen, and then you get um, a pink piece of pink muslin too. Okay, so these are all the size 15 beads. And then these are some 15s. I don't know what I've got here. And some 11s. <laughs> okay, there's two bags. I knew there was two bags. So there's this bag that has the larger beads in it, and then there's this bag that has the smaller beads in it. So anyway, we have a bunch of kits made up. And the last thing is the thread. You ready for this? Where's my drum roll? <laughs> Heaven! Isn't it awesome? It is so like nice to see all the threads at once. Now, granted, I keep in mind, I always overdo, okay? And there's like four or five cottons over here and then there's like 13 silks and those are all the ones that are supposed to come in the kit. And then I went a little crazy and added more because I wanted to see what would happen if we went darker and if we could use the darkers and if they would be good in the kit. Of course they will be. And if not, you know, you've got a little bit of extra stuff to work with after you're done. So, yeah. I'm really excited about this. Hello. Can I help you? Excuse me. 
So here's some of the silks. I really need to bag them and get them away from this girl over here. Um, it's hard to do. It's not hard to do. It's tedious and it's very time consuming to get them done. So one of the things that was in the kit is you're supposed to have an open heart to put your skeins on. So I got those and I got these cute little hearts as a little dooley dad thing, you know, like the strawberries. And then this one. Oh my goodness, you guys, this thing costs like $18. I'm able to get it a little cheaper, so I'm passing on a discount, but isn't it cute? It's all these little stones, crystals, crystals, are they crystals? I can't remember, they call it pave, I don't know, but it's terribly cute, it's a strawberry, and the strawberry has a hole down the center, and you know, I thought, what the heck, you know, you could attach this to the dangly bits in the front gone a little bit crazy for my strawberry fair. It's cute. You guys, it's so cute. I wish I had a better um, picture. I think they actually make these things. Come to think of it, I've seen these inside of the pattern. You actually made, this is a thimble holder. This is a needle sharpener. I forget what that guy is, but you, you make these. Now that I'm looking at them, it's just like this one, this is where all the green beads go. They go around it and there's two sides to it and this has uh, got the pink beads on it. Yeah, wow. Now that I'm looking at everything, I'm like, oh look, there's that thing and there's that thing. I need to get the, the circles. Um, those O-rings, that's what they're called. I have a bunch, but they're like rubber. Can you move on, child? Hey, hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. That's a little miss. She's crazy. I love her. She can be a bit obnoxious, though. She does get into a lot of trouble. She's young. She'll get over it. <laughs> okay. That's everything. 27 minutes. I did it. <laughs> I was so afraid I was going to be here forever. Because what happens now is I have to keep my phone display on to load. Now I can no longer take a video off the phone and put it onto the computer to load from the computer. And you can't use the internet when it's loading. Ta -da! <laughs> There's nobody here. I am all by myself. I've been depressed. So I thought, let's talk. I'm glad I did. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day and stitch.